What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabai Reacts here and we are back with some more ping pong the animation. Today we're gonna to be doing two episodes, episode seven and eight. Um everything TV show wise will be back. Don't worry. I'm trying to get all these anime stuff out, okay? So um Yes, ping pong the animation man, last episode we saw the, the the revitalization or revitalization, however you want to say it, of the man Peko himself. Um, and as I said, man, the story used um, the story used the perfect person to bring him back into perspective. I love that. Um, it's a great story so far, no doubt about it. I can't expound on it enough of how I'm surprised that. You know something like this doesn't have continuation after this one season um i'm very surprised at that because to how the story is going you know what i'm saying it's story it, the, the the story right now is you know it's very unique in its own way of how you know relating to real life and showing what can possibly happen in real life and it's not so you know just a show or just for show you know what i'm saying it's um it's nothing over the top these are all things that could happen in real life you know what i'm saying it's animated that way the discussions the topics the the the, the hard work you know versus talent talent alongside hard work all of that stuff is being portrayed in this anime and i love it i love it i love it so gonna jump into this episode man um you know our boy mr smile is is destroying everybody in tournaments um kazuma um doing his thing you know what i'm saying he skipped out on his girl he celebrating christmas with his girl to train um, it was a lot of ironic situations in in that episode, you know, that I probably didn't talk about in, you know, in my review last time that I noticed, but I just, I didn't feel the need because sometimes I just don't want to do long um, reviews, but you guys do point out certain things in the comment section and I love you guys for it because a lot of times I really don't want to sit here for 15, 20 minutes doing a review. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why sometimes I just really touch on the main thing that I notice about the episode more than just going through all, all the different things that happen in the episode, as in, you know, some of the ironic stuff that happened in the episode. So, because I do notice these things, not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do notice them, you know, and sometimes I'll have discussion with you guys in the comment section, but, um, but yeah, it was a lot of ironic situations in that, you know, um, Mrs. Smile kind of celebrating by himself, um, during that whole Christmas celebration thing. I know I cut out most of it for YouTube, but if you watch the full reaction, um, it's, you know, you see those things and how I reacted to it. But anyways, man, we're going to jump into this next episode, episode seven and eight today. So make sure you come back for the review. Of course, you know, these the two episodes are going to be posted separately because I don't want to post them together. It's going to be too much content into one episode for YouTube. And also, um, I have no restrictions in uploading this anime, but I'm still trying to only upload around 10, maybe about 12 minutes of it on YouTube. And then you can watch the full reaction on the Google Drive or the bit shoot link okay so you can go ahead and watch full reactions over there but on youtube i'm gonna try to keep it um somewhere around 10 minutes per episode um so all that's you know in between stuff that i don't feel like is that super important to show then i won't show it um but you guys know how it is already so thank you guys for tuning in man as always man as as much as you guys love watching this just hit that like button man hit, um if you have not hit the notification bell yet go ahead and do that man and if you not subscribe even better subscribe hit the notification bell man let's do this man let's jump into this episode let's see what they got for us um thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys for the review Not Jane, I yarn out. 
Oh, he lost the weight, though. He looks a lot thinner now. <笑>あんま。一体いつやった。歌してくれんだよ。1分切るまで一生これだよ。早く。早く抱きかんぼうしてえの、俺は。うっせ。黙れ喋るな。下がれ。殴るぞ。行けよ、ほら。早く。私お
バタフライ上に話を聞いてもいいですか Yeah, I wanna know. 私の昔の呼び名だ。あまりにもプレイが優雅で蝶のようだってね。両ハンドを自由に触れた私に敵はいなかったよ。俗に言う無敵ね。若かった。日本卓球界の新星とかなんとか言われてさ。世界選手権の代表も当然だと誰もが思ってた。だが、選考会で負けた。物心ついた時から同じ台で打った相手だなかなかのつわものではあったがね右膝人体損傷全治6ヶ月と診断されたよ危険されなかったのですか私ならそうした膝を壊したのは私の方じゃないんだ奴は周囲の説得も聞かず試合に臨んだフォアに深く打ってバックに切り返せば簡単に沈む相手です君なら打てたかね旧友の傷に釘を突き立てるような球を選手生命を奪う危険なコースにさ。わお。君なら打てたか結局フォアに打球を集中させ私は自滅した。それ以降、大きなヒノキ部隊に立つこともなかった。逆に怪我をして出場した相手はそれが美談となり出世。世界への階段を駆け上がっていった。現海王理事長ポセイゾン代表取締役風間龍がその男だでもねミスター月本これだけは言っておきたい私は復讐のために君を利用しているわけじゃない君に見せてあげたいんだ才能あるものだけが行けるその場所をねうん分かってます分かっていますしかもリメンダホじゃねえかよ。ああ、ペコ、小さい頃、裏ラソフトでドライブ打ってたじゃん。小さいのに、大人の台で打ってたからね。それ思い出してやらせたら、すぐできたよ。やっぱ、鬼強いやつとやると、後ろに下がらされっから、ドライブ打てた方がいいと思うんだ。それから、okay. 裏面は進歩しねえ、バック技術への苦肉の策だったが、これもハマった。母ちゃん、分かったよ。あいつの才能が普通は急に変えてもできやしねえだけどあいつできんだよ子供のスポンジみたいな吸収力でみるみる身につけちまうしかし大規模工事だね景色が全く変わっちまうんじゃねえのかいうんやっぱあいつの魅力はスピードだ前で打った方がいいもっとあいつに合った線型があるはずなんだ考えてるよあそこで打ってんのはペコの兄弟だびっくりするよみんな同じ顔してる<笑>母親も挨拶に来たけど<笑>同じ顔してんだペコを泊まり込んでから入れ替わり立ち替わり誰か着替えとか差し入れ持ってくんだ Damn, dude, あそこで売ってるのは本物のペコなんだろうねえっ重いね2枚貼ってあるからな70グラム切るカーボンラケットに変えてやんな分かったそれからあれ、気になるね、右膝の。なんだか妙な違和感があるってつけてるけど、本人が大したことないって言うから心配ないよ。まあ、くれぐれも注意しないよ、未熟な高校生だからよ。わかったほんじゃ帰るね。サンキュー、母ちゃんじゃあな、ペコ、監督の言うこと聞いて精進しろよ。なんだ、もう帰っちまうのかよ、おばば。心配すんな、愛してっからよ。ほんとかよ。だったらいいけどよ。ちやひえ、ドリフティはい。It's, it's setting up something. And I can see 
you know what they're tr what they're trying to do um as in you know the relationship between the coach the coaches and the students that was something that was played a played on a lot in this episode the relationship between coach and student um and the lessons that they can that they can learn from you know having that someone that is similar to them that has been through something um i like the resurgence of peko uh, i love that i love the fact that he's training hard he, he and that's the thing people with talent like what they were saying about him at the end of the episode like that didn't surprise me at all because he's talented and it was so obvious that he's talented but he felt like he knew so much and he didn't need to train and that's what was happening in the first couple of episodes of the series he just felt like he knew everything until he got brought down by somebody that shouldn't be able to beat him to be honest you know um if he worked hard at his craft see he picks things up like a sponge that's how they describe him he's like a he's like a child and that's how talented people are you know what i'm saying um like myself i'm the same way like you can't get me to study for nothing but i pick things up so quickly people get threatened by me when i you know worked regular jobs and stuff like that people used to get threatened by me just by the fact that i'll come in and i'll I pick stuff up like that you only got to tell me stuff once and I get it and I run with it um, same thing when it comes on to me studying stuff about business and stuff like that it goes that way like you know what I'm saying so I totally get that I expected that from Peko smile might be on another level when it comes on to smarts IQ and stuff like that he might be on another level higher than Peko in my opinion um, Kazuma came back, tried to, you know, do some stuff and all of that, all of that good stuff. But anyways, man, that was pretty cool, man. I'm going to jump into the next episode. Um, I will have more in-depth in, in the final review after episode 8. So make sure you go ahead and check out episode 8 out. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys over here.